peek inside our classrooms at Hawk Point Elementary. Come on, let's go. Yay! Oh, I'm here with Olivia, and I hear you're learning about adding and subtracting. What's five plus three? Eight. Nice job. Oh, I've heard you are learning how to subtract. Can you show me how you do five minus two? Five minus two, and you take away. Subtracting. Can you show me how you add four plus three? And how much does that equal? Nice job. You've been learning about fractions. Can you tell me more? Um. Yes. In fractions, whenever you're adding or subtracting them, if the denominators are the same, then you keep them the same in your answer. I've already been learning how to add and subtract fractions. Can you tell me about that? Basically, you just get the common denominators and you go from there. So, give me an example. Like, if you do 2 a's plus 3 a's, it'd be 5 a's. Good job. Thank you. My name is Rylan, and today I'm with Giselle. So, I've heard you have mealworms in your classroom for science. Why do you have them? Study them, see how they change, live, grow, and form. Thank you. Hi, I'm Reagan, and today I'm with an interesting fact about mealworms. Um, they turn into a larva, and then after a larva, they turn into a beetle. That's cool. Hi, my name is Rylan, and today I'm with Liliana. So, I've heard you have mealworms in your classroom for science. Why do you have them? Oh, can I tell the life cycle about Yeah. That? So, first the eggs, um, and, um, and then they go into mealworms, and then they turn into larvas, and then a pupa, and then a beetle. That sounds really cool. Um, are you ready for them to turn into beetles? Yeah. Do you think it's going to be excited? Yeah. Activities that you guys are doing. So in third grade right now, we have mealworms. You remember mealworms from last year? So we're going mealworms and we're watching them go through a metamorphosis. So we have them in our classroom and right now they're all at the larva stage, but they're eventually gonna turn into pupa and then they're gonna turn into beetles. So we are so excited. That sounds really cool. Something exciting that you are doing in your room, like a project. We are learning about adding and subtracting and um, my students are really excited about writing equations. That's cool. In math, we've been really, really working on subtraction and the number line. So we have been practicing those almost daily and we've almost got it. Our post test is in about two weeks and hopefully we can master those number lines. Hello, today I am here with Luke. Luke, what do community helpers do? They keep you safe. I'm here with Finn. Hey Finn, I heard that you made a keynote about community helpers. What community helpers do? They are nice and respectful. So Tucker, I heard you dug up dinosaur bones for science. Can you tell me more about that? Yes. Okay. What did you make? Um, I made a woolly mammoth. Was it hard? No. Why? because we had to build the pieces with numbers on them. Cool. I'm here with Noelle. And Noelle, can you tell me more about how, what we did to dig up dinosaur bones? Um, so we didn't use our hands, because okay. Ms. Cox said um, to get smarter, we had to use a brush, because if you didn't, if you used your hands, then if you, on a real dinosaur bone, you would probably get like disease or something, mm -hmm. and it could probably ruin the bone. What did you make with your dinosaur bones? I made a mammoth. Oh, cool. So, Luca, I heard you dug up bones for science. Can you tell me more about that? Um, yes, I dug up a woolly mammoth. Cool, I'm with Missy. Missy, what's something good you've seen out of a student lately? 
Well, something that I have seen really good from students lately is the third grade class has kindergarten buddies. And in the hallway, they work really hard to teach them lessons and they take their job very responsibly. And so I really like seeing that. Thank you. Something good I've seen about students lately is how they care about their other students. So if somebody's upset, people have been checking on their friends to make sure they're okay. Thank you. Miss Susie, what's something good you've seen as a student lately? Um, things that I've seen that's good out of students is during the buddy intervention time, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I think um, the older students are doing great with the younger ones and teaching them good things and helping them learn their numbers and their letters, and I think that's great. Another thing that I notice is when we have outdoor uh, lunch, Everybody's willing to pick up trash that isn't theirs. Thank you. Miss Hazel, what is something that you've seen good out of student lately? I have seen a lot of really good collaboration with, um... I heard that you have been learning about voting rights, so tell me, what have you learned in voting rights? I learned that Franny Lou Harmer, which is my person that I wrote about, um, that black people could vote again, and then she became a leader. Dan here with Kelsey. Kelsey, er, Kelsey, I've been learning that you've been learning about voting rights. Voting rights. So tell me something that you've learned about them. That Susan B. Anthony fought for women's right to vote, and that he was sweet, and all of his like other people that were black, and they're fighting for liberty for freedom. That's cool. I never knew that. And I'm Sydney. Hi, I'm Sienna. And I'm Autumn. 